Welcome to Nocturnal Simulations, where every week we bring you 90 seconds of tech tips, helping to maximize graphics and performance within Microsoft Flight Simulator, ensuring a smooth and stutter-free experience at a whole new level. Today's topic will be terrain and object level of detail settings. Level of detail draw distance can be one of, if not the most, important graphical setting you can adjust. Typically what I do when helping someone squeeze the most out of their system is set the LODs first and then min-max the other settings. As you can see here, the terrain level of detail setting has a huge impact on how photogrammetry buildings look and feel within the world. There are big jumps in graphical quality up to 200 and then you get into more finer details after that up to 400 which is the maximum setting you can achieve within a game and not configuring config files. If you have a system that was built within the last few years, I would start by setting the terrain LOD to between 100 and 200 as the starting Point. Object level of detail mainly deals with how far away objects will render as you fly around the world. As we fly over top of Atlanta, you can clearly see how much better the setting improves between 10 and 100 as objects load in further away. As you go above 100, the effect becomes much less noticeable because the setting is adding clarity to each object more so than render distance. A good starting point here is 100, and I would typically only go beyond that if someone's system still has plenty of overhead capacity. As the quality versus performance that I typically see doesn't have quite the impressive return on investment as you would with the terrain level of detail setting. Both of these settings can be found in the general tab under graphics and are simple to use sliders. So how do we adjust these to get the best performance and quality? Quality balance. What I typically do is set up test scenarios and adjust the settings one at a time and aim for both a smooth FPS counter staying in the yellow and keeping the main thread time also in the yellow as well. Some additional settings at a quick glance that I have turned on are resizable bar which is an NVIDIA 3000 and up series setting and I also cap my FPS at 45 to prevent the graphics card from overloading the CPU and losing the oh so invaluable overhead. And there you have it with this week's tech tip. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you next week. Happy flying!